welcome to Tech Games. Today so we're going to be doing a review on the Samsung Galaxy SA, um, nearly said S6 guys. So basically this is we look me it back in March 2017, sorry. And obviously it's a touch screen phone. The dimensions is 148.90 um, by 68.10 by 8.00 um, and the weight it weighs 155.00 grams and the battery capacity is 3000 milliamp hour back um, hours and yeah as usual there's no removable battery there's midnight black orchard grey arctic silver coral blue and maple gold those are the colours the standard so we need to start off what do you get in the box simple things so um, let's let's open the box up you you have an easy tab like this so it's quite a nice unboxing experience obviously you have the phone in here it's just placed in like that as usual just in you've got this like this then obviously I'm just going to do this slowly guys you get your instruction manual um, and there's normally I don't know where that is and in with this as well somewhere there is a thing for your sim um, normally it's, oh it's it's below here it was tucked in there very good it was tucked in there so very good in, unboxing experience um, first you have this USB connector so you got your um, USB C as as we know it's USB C now USB and this is for trying pretty much your cam plug memory sticks into it. Um which you don't think if you haven't got a USB memory stick and all this stuff. And this is for when you connect your old phone to your new phone and you can transfer all your data just make sure like I have double double check then try because sometimes you might have an error like the wire could be pulled out so yeah you get that you also get a um if i can reach that um if not i'm gonna have to just undo that you also get one of these as usual guys i'm sure you've seen plenty of reviews and this is just a um if you can see a micro usb to usb c adapter so you're not completely screwed if you've got micro usb stuff samsung's gonna has got you covered and if you want to use it you can use it and you can use it with USB-C while there's chargers like I've got one which I will do a review on shortly you also get the which I am going to open I never open I'm not going to open this now but I never normally open earphones and just wait but you've got the AKG earphones and these are the best ones which Samsung have ever included so and you get some ear tips in there which Yes, I am going to listen to them, and yes, I might do a bit of a review, review on them. So plenty of tech to review, guys. So, also, let me show you the final thing. And yeah, guys, so this is basically the plug that it comes with. It's a standard um, adaptive fast charging plug. So, yeah, um, the fast charging is decent on it. I would say it's improved quite a bit since the S6 said in the S7 from all accounts but it's still not mega mega like 10 minutes and it's charged yeah it's not that yet but no phone is that yet at the moment which can keep capacity you get this which is really really weird for Samsung um, they've gone very minimal with the wire so it's very slim you get a nice USB-C thing there uh, my experience all Samsung wires break quickly so I would get um, a different wire and yeah it's, it's quite quite good and it does fast charging quite well the wire that I use um, I would recommend them I know I'm doing a Samsung review but I'm going to um, I'm just going to show you it now just while on video and these are the anchor braided cables I know this is a massive long cable guys but yeah anchor braided and yeah these these are so good quality see the say anchor on there and yeah you can bend these and put it like this these will last a lot longer than that 
and I've got one anchor cable down there and that's not braided and they're not as good and that's lasted me quite a bit since I've had my phone so yeah um, and now it's starting to go so yeah anchor braided get one of them but this is quite good for now but yeah it's, it's completely up to you guys and braided cables I do look the part so now onto the main bit as you know guys is the phone right guys so now on to the main thing that you guys have all been waiting for the galaxy s8 i nearly said that six edge again and the screen size is 5.80 inches and the resolution is 1440 by 2960 pixels and the pixels per inch is 517 bear in mind i'm not completely sure on pixels and stuff i do know but yeah if you ask me with quality and stuff yeah it's really good but if you want someone to go into more depth i'm not the person to talk to the processor is 1.9 gigahertz octa-core uh, processor make is samsung uh, is it xenos or xenos 8895 uh, ram 4 gigabytes internal storage 64 gigabytes expandable storage is a micro sd and it's up to 256 gig can have a nice which is in the sim card tray which i'll just take this case off just to show you how slim the phone is quite there it's nice on the back this is midnight black as well <laughs> we've got the heart rate sensor the fingerprint sensor which is really good people say it's irritating but in my opinion i'm going to say this in the review it's really nice and it works I prefer it on the front, don't we all? But yeah, it works flawlessly. And I, I say better than the face thing because you don't have to click that, you can put your finger directly on it and you've got the nice 12 megapixel camera. And it's dual LED, the rear flash, and the two retinal scanners plus a um, face scanner in there. Very quick loading in there guys. And you've got all the nice, all, all the apps and stuff there, as you can see. So, so you've got all these apps and everything, can, and it's it's very quick loading, and I would say it's quite quite quick. The operating system is apparently at Android 7.0. The, you've got Wi-Fi connectivity, all Bluetooth, NFC, um, headphone jack. You can connect it to up to two Bluetooth devices, so if you want a soundbar and a speaker, just connect to Bluetooth or headphones and they, or speakers, you, you can have that. And it's great for VR because if you want people to be part of your experience, you can add sound like that, or you can add it to your actual stereo thing, plus some other things. Um, 4G LTE, um, and basically it comes with a temperature sensor, barometer, gyroscope, ambient light sensor, accelerometer, proximity sensor, compass, and meganometer. I know it seems like I'm reading off a script. Yeah, I'm re I'm not reading off a script, but I'm reading off the specs. It's like best to read off specs because you you wanna you wanna kind of know certain thing. It's very nice. All navigate like this. You swipe up to basically get to certain pages like here like the app switcher here quite good if you look around you've got home buttons you've got that you've got you've got Bixby here which is very good you can say hi to Bixby yeah so overall guys I'm not going to show you all these stuff but overall guys it's very good it's very clean the operating system is good fingerprints good retinal scanner the face thing's good, more secure fingerprint, and it's very fast because you don't have to press a button. You just can just put your finger on it and it's ready. So, hopefully you enjoyed this review, guys. I rate it 10 out of 10. It's great. Okay, the button, could, the fingerprint scanner could be on a different place. But hopefully you enjoyed the video. Be sure to smash the like button, subscribe, and I will see you in the next Tech Games video. Hey.